this video covers the topic polymer composite in particularly kevlar fiber kindly subscribe my channel like and share it what are composites so the composites are the material which composed of two or more distinct phases namely matrix phase the one phase what we call it as a matrix phase and the other one is a dispersed phase having a bulk properties significantly different from those of the any constituents it usually consists of matrix with dispersed phase so uh, that may be a fiber phase dispersed phase so called it together we can call it as a composite material this composite material property is entirely different from this individual they are broadly classified into three category metal matrix composite mmc uh, metal matrix composite consists of a metallic matrix usually made up of aluminium magnesium iron cobalt copper etc and a dispersed phase is usually ceramic Uh, oxide or carbides or even a metallics like uh, lead tungsten molybdate phase are used the second category is a ceramic matrix uh, uh, matrix uh, composite composite of ceramic matrix and embedded fibers of the other ceramic materials that is ceramic ceramic usually it consists of ceramic matrix uh, composite the third category of composite is a polymer matrix composite is a material consisting of a polymer matrix combined with a fibrous reinforcing dispersed phase that is polymers with the fibers composing materials are called it as a polymer matrix composite the polymer composites are produced by suitable bonding a fiber material with the polymer resin matrix and curing the same under pressure or heat the reinforcement could be in a different forms such as a sort of chopped fibers continuous filament twisted strands like thereby we can get a different properties of that polymer matrix composite the common resin matrix uh, includes polyesters epoxy resins phenolic resins silicon resins etc and uh, Uh, epoxy resins if you use it imparts a high mechanical property like we, by wearing the uh, polymer matrix or the reinforcing material we get a different uh, properties of that particular polymer uh, composite the polymer composites like we may resins like a uh, glass fibers we may reinforcement material like glass fibers we may use boron filaments carbon graphite fibers so these are usually uh, used Uh, adopted fibrous material the polymer composites are a material consists of polymer matrix combined with a fibrous reinforcing uh, dispersed phase fibrous reinforced dispersed phase and forming a new class of material their characteristic is entirely different from that of the individual components polymer matrix combined with the fibrous reinforcing dispersed phase forming a new class of uh, compo compounds or a material called uh, polymer composite thermoset and thermoplastic polymers are usually used as a matrix for fabrication reinforcing material may be carbon fiber or a, ca a kevlar or a glass fibers are used the synthesis of this particular i'll take a, a kevlar fiber the monomer Uh, for the synthesis of uh, kevlar fiber we use phenyl phenylene diamide 14 phenylene diamide or ppd that is para phenylene diamide is used para phenylene diamide when un or it undergo condensation polymerization with tertialyl chloride in the presence of a concentrated sulfuric acid during this reaction there is a elimination of hydrochloric acid which is terminating as a by product thereby forming a poly uh, or forming a kevlar fiber okay that is pptf or kevlar fibers are produced and this pro uh, presence of amide linkage and other inner chain bonds like hydrogen bonds usually gives much strength to the kevlar fiber 
Now I'll show you how the Kevlar fiber is formed. We'll take this compound NH2, NH2, and this compound what we call it as a diamine. Okay, it is a diamine, one four phenylene diamine. That is one four phenylene diamine is taken. This is a one monomer unit. It is subjected to condensation reaction with the third alloyl chloride. So it also contains two COCl group, thiol group. That is, uh, uh, yeah, the group call it as a thiol chloride. And the reaction that takes place in the presence of concentrated sulfuric acid and there is elimination of hydrochloric acid. So, I will represent this way. Here one hydrogen, another hydrogen put it, I will put it here. So, this hydrogen get eliminated and the compounds like this and H. So, the diamine groups made it just like this. Cu. This is a third thylyl groups which the Cl group is involved for the Sorry, Cl group is eliminated, thereby a bond is formed. So, thylloyl, so Kevlar fiber is formed. Kevlar fiber is, so Kevlar fiber is formed. And this Kevlar fiber is mixed with some other polymer units and thereby forming a polymer composite. So, 1,4-phenylene diamine react undergo polycondensation reaction with thiol oil chloride. So, gives uh, uh, Kevlar fiber. Then, uh, there is exist of a hydrogen bond. We can show it like this. NH group of one polymer. This is a one polymer chain and this one is a another polymer chain. These polymer chains are bind by means of a, a hydrogen bonding. Then, properties of Kevlar. It possesses a high tensile strength. It's uh, uh, strong. It is five times stronger than steel. We'll consider steel is a stronger one, but the fiber what we produced by using these monomers, it is a uh, five times stronger than steel. It is a crystalline in nature, lightweight, thermal shrinkage, no thermal shrinkage is observed, no embrittlement is observed at low temperature, resistance to attack from almost all types of uh, acid, but if you expose a, a fiber for a longer time for uh, with the strong acids or base, it may degrade. Low electrical conductivity, high cut resistance. Kevlar can be uh, ignited, but burning stops when source is removed. So that is a low ignition tense. A very low elongation or breakup point is observed. Then Kevlar is used in many of the, uh, uh, we find there are many applications. Kevlar is used to make industrial equipment such as the shoes, belts, reinforcement material. It is used to make uh, parts of aircrafts, uh, ship shell, reinforced tires, etc. Kevlar is also used as a reinforcement materials for racing cars because of the high abrasion resistance. Uh, racing cars uh, bicycle tires, it helps to reduce puncture rate. It usually uh, helps to reduce puncture rate uh, and its tires are so strong even bullet cannot penetrate it. So that's why it is normally used in the racing tires, racing car tires. Kevlar is used to making various sports equipments including like tennis, table tennis, badminton, uh, cricket board, bats, uh, hockey sticks uh, and even the race car parts or body parts, uh, sports shoes, uh, stick, stick boards, surf boards, gloves, uh, uh, then even motor sports helmets. This, uh, to make this uh, equipment uh, components, usually Kevlar fibers are used because of high, uh, it is much stronger than any other fibers. Friction production such as a brake pad, clutch leanings, gasket, it is often employed as a replacement of a carcinogenic asbestos. 
and then fiber optic uh, cables for communication and data transformation system uh, for that it is used even it is used in the manufacture of military equipments uh, military helmets uh, vehicle armors body armors uh, then even uh, technical vest uh, in many lightweight and high tensile strength property helps to make uh, many military equipments and even it is used as a adhesives and sealants these are the main application found under uh, kev uh, kevlar fibers thank you